All right, so today I'm gonna go ahead and get a roast ready that we're gonna have this evening for dinner on our beautiful quarantine day here today. Here we have a nice three and a half pound chuck roast. I'm gonna be using the Big Green Egg Classic Steakhouse seasoning. And I'm going to apply a very liberal amount here. It's gonna be a lot of roast and it's gonna be a lot of flavor, so. I wanna make sure that we get all sides of it well coated. And as you can see in the background here, I've already got my egg going. Really, I'm just gonna get that thing blasting hot. And get a really nice sear on this before I put it into the oval Dutch oven with the rest of my ingredients. So here we've got that well seasoned. A little more won't hurt anything. Looks like it's gonna be just a couple more minutes on my eggs, so I'm gonna go ahead and go wash my hands up right quick, which you should be doing on a regular basis right now anyway. And we'll be right back. All right, so. We've got the egg up to about 650, 700 degrees. It's actually gonna keep climbing if you notice. There it goes. So, we're gonna go ahead and get a good hard sear onto our roast. And let that go for about a minute, minute and a half on each side there. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the rest of my ingredients here in my enamel coated Dutch oven. So I've got two onions. I just did some uh, julienne cuts on that. I'm gonna put those down on the bottom. That's also gonna to help to kind of raise the roast up off of the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna throw in some carrots, as well as some celery. And I have about three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes that I cut up as well. Just gonna make sure we got enough room for everything in here. Kind of open up a little spot for that roast to set. Just like that. I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be right back. All right, we've got this searing about 725, 50 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. That is going to turn into some fantastic flavor. We'll hit this side for about another minute to a minute and a half. Throw it into our pan and we'll be ready to go. All right, let's see how this other side is looking here. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. All right, so, now I'm simply gonna place this right in on top of my vegetables here. Now, notice I also did not put any water into this. There's actually gonna be enough juices that come off of the roast and out of the vegetables to give you some really good broth. So, I'm just gonna cap this. Then I'm gonna adjust the settings on my egg because I really want to do the rest of this part low and slow. It's going to take a little while to come down in temp, but right about there should be roughly 200 and 250 degrees or so. So then I'm going to want to do the rest of this indirect. So 
I'll take my convector, put that in there just like that. And it's okay if this starts out with it being just a little bit hotter than what we're going to want it in the end because as this cooks, the temp is actually gonna come down. So it'll stay incredibly hot for a little bit but here shortly it'll get right down to that 220, 250 degrees that we're looking to cook this at. And uh, here in a few hours, this will be a beautiful roast. It's been about three and a half hours. Our roast should be looking pretty good. We'll check it for temp as well as tenderness. Really more concerned with tenderness at this point. Uh, looks like our Enamel coated Dutch oven has done a fantastic job of holding the juices in here for us. That roast looks beautiful. The potatoes are obviously done. So we'll just take and stick a fork right in here. Sure enough, tears apart easily. And for you temperature junkies out there, we'll double check just to see where we're at on that. like a beautiful 192 degrees. So let's take this in and eat it.